Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for coming. It's so amazing to see you all out with um, all the lockdown that we've had. Um, yeah, so we're a domestic abuse charity that's been really proactive in the community and throughout the country through COVID. Um, my team, you can see them scattered around with all their T-shirts on. They helped us right through COVID. Um, like Christine said, we were completely without um, an office. So my brother kindly offered us the building over there, which is absolutely amazing. And it's opened up loads and loads of doors. So sometimes being homeless isn't a bad thing. You do come out of it at the other end much better. So um, our projects are very similar to um, Christine, but we sort of, we, we're doing a lot of wellbeing stuff apart from, as well as domestic abuse. So throughout COVID, we ended up getting another flat, which is a refuge because people were just fleeing constantly. And we literally set up a flat within over a weekend with my team. And um, oh my God, the actual domestic abuse cases went right through the roof. As you know, you probably see it on the news constantly. So, you know, even though we had to social distance, we were still putting ourselves at risk as well. But, you know, a lot of people lost their lives, but unfortunately through domestic abuse, two women a week are killed and that's what we're trying to prevent. So when Christine said she was doing this open day, um, she kindly sent all the invites out to you guys. I didn't even have to worry. Thank you, Christine, for that. <laughs> so, yeah, so we've got our building over there. If you get time later on to go over there and have a look, we do, apart from doing all the support side of um, domestic abuse and getting everybody through the other end, we've now started a new journey with the wellbeing programme. So we've got a meditation room, We've got cookery, art, anything that anybody wants, mentoring with businesses, which is what I do. We, we just do ev housing, everything possible to see them right through from the start when they turn up to us with nothing to right to the end where they end up with mentoring jobs, apprenticeships. And, you know, without that, my, without my team, I wouldn't be able to do it. So thank you, team. You're, you're just amazing. Um, I'd love to just introduce Jill. Can I just have two minutes with her? Because she was a, a client that we helped and we literally saved her life. And I think she was she just dying to tell you her story. So if you don't mind, just two minutes, we'll, yeah, we just, that's Jill. I'll make it one minute, I'll saw that sign. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I'm part of a large gypsy travelling community and um, we've, I just want to take this opportunity really to thank Hassie for, I'm going to start crying, for everything she's done for me because I am a different girl now to the one I was five years ago. Yeah, yeah. You know, since, thank you Hassie, <laughs> but since coming to New Leaf, I'm now, I left school with no GCSEs thinking that life was just about cooking and cleaning and looking after your children because that's what I was groomed to do from birth. But now I know that without Hassie's help, I've passed my GCSEs. Yeah, and I'm now an MVQ level three support worker. So, you know, having something like New Leaf in our town makes a difference to so many women's lives. So thank you, Assie. You're all, you're welcome. <laughs>